Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, it's uh, Rad, and uh, in this video we're going to look into Cancer, uh, Sun, Moon and also Rising, a uh, weekly tarot reading uh, for 21st of uh, February up until 27th of February, 2020, 2022, 20, 20 uh, let me get that refill right, and uh, should you want to skip the draw and uh, go right away to the uh, reading itself, you can totally do that using the timestamps in the description down below. Uh, other than that, see if you do enjoy what we do and uh, you do like our content, you can leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of our weekly uploads, nor as well a live streams. All right, so with that being said, let's... Uh, <clears throat> Do the draw first before we jump to the reading uh, the first card that you do have uh, cancer that is going to be the ten of swords uh followed by the second one oh my god that is going to be the nine of cups and this is uh despite the start of the ten of swords it seems that things are going to escalate in a good way uh rather quickly uh running through the week followed by the third card of you or for you that is uh temperance Moving next, uh, we do have, uh, that is, that is the page, right? Yeah, it's, it's the page of wands. And the final one, it's uh, the uh, six of cups. Okay, so these five cards. It seems that uh, you will have a positive reversal in the week and how this is going to play out coming up next in the uh, reading itself. So you can see your uh, spread on the screen, Cancer, and uh, this this week, guys, um, you are bound to make a uh, a huge turnaround uh, into because every um, Cancer is different from the other. What I mean is that you do have your own situations, you do have your own uh, your own aspect. Uh, that uh, turnaround is going to take place into the enterprise or whatever you are going through that it is the worst of your experiences so if your marriage for example is on the rocks uh this is where that turnaround is gonna take place should your career be on the rocks again same thing this is where your uh this is where that turnaround is going to take place and this turnaround is going to be uh initiated either through your actions or through a decision of yours. It's not going to be something that miraculously is going to happen. At one morning, either Monday or Tuesday, you are going to wake up and you're going to say enough, it's enough. You know, where the um, knife touches the bone, you wear, um, when you realize that you are hitting the rock bottom, and you have nothing literally to lose anymore that is the moment where you your determination is it's going to become a virtue there and therefore you are to make either a irrevocable decision for example to to leave or to do anything you can to improve your situation whatever that decision is to be or irreversible act of, of heroism here that is going to initiate a new dawn into your life into you a, a new era if you will into your life and from there as i said as you have maybe find yourself hitting the rock bottom into that enterprise from there the climb to the top of the summit it's uh, it's about to start and is going to have its very very quickly progress here as we can see with the nine of cups because in the in the early stages of the week from the start to the middle of the week things are going to exponentially improve into that field and again if that's your marriage which is on the rock then you can expect solid improvement into your marriage affairs should your family be on the rock same thing there you know and the same thing about your um business but again it's it, it refers to the field or the area which you suffer the most at that point 
now that I think of that area, maybe activity, if you may be dying from boredom, and there you go. I mean, you reach the executive decision to do something about it. And uh, that way, finding out something to do uh, is going to provoke that new era into your life. Regardless, <clears throat> you are going to make progress very quickly. And this poignancy that you may have at the start of the week, this, uh, uh, this, how can I put it into words, a, uh, a miserable experience even, is going to quickly be swapped with uh, fullness of life, content, um, exhilaration, even ecstasy in some cases, and you're going to end up a very, very happy, and it will seem like a, a wish is coming true into your life, whether it is into your love life or into your career life, and that will be the reality. Make no mistake, uh, I wish to, to be happily married or to be successful into, into your career is coming true in a sense of that it is um, developing. But you need to know that that cannot be let to hang on inertia. So you will need a constant maintenance of your progress, of your progress, and constant. Um, how can I say it? In, how can I put it into words? A, a a constant pour into resources into it. So uh, be prepared here to cling into uh, into your happiness and just do whatever you can and whatever it is required even because you definitely can do what it is required but you to do what it is required in order to sustain uh, that happiness and that is going to be the major major improvement that awaits you in this week again which is to be provoked by a very heroic decision or an action that you are to uh, that you are to make and uh, if you do experience, uh, if you do have, uh, if you do experience any difficulties maintaining your happiness here, uh, you very quickly are gonna get the hang of it with uh, the temperance as we do have it into the uh, middle of the week. And by the middle of the week, you're really going to find the right approach into your situations, whether they are career or whether they are. Um, with a, a romantic incentive but that is uh, the play th that is the time where something more interesting is going to happen at the middle of the week uh you are going to see that more and more people are respecting your opinion a and that is not because they agree with it but the the way you convey your opinion your your sight your point of view is going to make uh, people see that even if they do not approve it by any may by, by any means it's actually something that can work out <clears throat> and uh, that way you are to uh, start experiencing more solidarity and compassion and as well if you will friendships into your uh, environment amongst your colleagues at work uh, amongst the people into your social circle as well and uh, at the end of the day, that card predisposes for a settling disputes, predisposes as well for forging relationships, uh, and not relationships, but friendships, which are a true side of a friendships where you have different sides, different views, different opinions, and yet you do have something that binds you there. And therefore, there is no competition, so there is no incentive for friend to betray you. Uh, and uh, one of these people is going to stand out, and that is the page of uh, the page of wands here. And I'm going to uh, underline it with the six of cups, because depending on what kind of a situation you are in, the page of wands is going to manifest in a different way. For example, if you have nothing to date with, rest assured, by the end of the week you are going to have that opportunity. Now, with the page of uh, wands, now. Do you want to take that opportunity? Well, that falls literally on you because the page itself, it's uh, the page of wands. It's open for anything new that you are to offer, uh, no matter how little could be or no matter how much it could be or how big it could be as well. It's literally anything that you have to offer. The page is going to grab it with a full fistful. So here you do have the opportunity to dictate the rules of the game that you and that page are going to play out. 
Now I need to tell you a little bit more about the Page of Wands because it's very difficult to, how can I put it into words, to understand why things are going wrong should they go south when you are interacting with, interacting with the Page of Wands. And that is because they are very cheerful by nature and playful as well. And it's kind of like they can relate to anybody that it is around with you. They act in one way or, or they behave in one way. That is not an act. They just behave in one way with somebody else. They, be they behave completely differently. And it seems that that person can literally be a friend with everybody. And that is because they kind of like puts a, a look that they are um, not indifferent, but untouched, unscathed by, you know, the problems that one interaction on one relationship can bring to the table. And, you know, if you do, if you say something that it is, um, let's say, unpleasant about them in front of them, they will give an impression that they they are not insulted by it or they are just, it just it doesn't matter for them and it is a good thing that you do say it said it but that is just a, a mask internally they are very very fragile souls from within and uh, that pressure kind of like builds up and if you are very critical or rather like you bombard that page with criticism very soon that pressure is just going to outburst it's going to immerse and things are gonna go wrong and you wouldn't know why but it is because uh, they did not made a point that your criticism was bothering them but it was bothering them so be very mindful when you talk with that individual and again you are going to recognize them by they being being very cheerful um enthusiastic it's kind of like very everywhere they go there with uplifted spirit no matter the situation and so on and so forth <clears throat> Another thing about the page it is that it's very possible that they can uh, bring a very good news to you and uh, also your interaction with them is going to remind you how, for example, good looking you are, how strong you are, and it's going to put the, put the best out of you out there on display. And uh, together you're going to have a really, really good time, at least for the time being of uh, of this week, as the Six of Cups here stands at the end. Should you work together, all the work that you do together is going to be very pleasant. Uh, how can I put it into words as well? Um, creative was the word that I was searching for. And uh, it, literally you're going to look forward to working even further with that person. And... Uh, in a romantic or friendship incentive or well, there isn't much of a friendship incentive with them so if you are in a relationship this is going to be a friendship but you have to be very careful because with the six of cups there at the end uh physical and emotional attachment is going to start building up okay and so you if you are having for example a, a, a nice family or a very good family and you don't want to put that drama in there by having a third party just build up boundaries very very important but if you are single and you have nobody as an interest well that could be an interest to you that individual and the romantic incentive is going to build up in between you two very very quickly and so i do hope that you're going to have a really really good time with this individual especially as your concerns about uh something like i said here at the start of the week which is not going well by a large margin it's pretty much resolved out so yeah uh cancer that being said this was your weekly general tarot reading hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and we are to see each other next time until then bye